Hello, welcome to LEV Toys. We are up to part two of the build of the Lego Elves Dragon Sanctuary. We have already built Gust the beautiful wind dragon and we have just started on the Dragon Sanctuary itself. If you missed the first part, there's a little eye in the corner which will take you there and the link is also in the description box, but make sure you come back because we have to finish up and there's lots of details in here. We've just finished up the little spa in the back there and it's got all these potion bottles and now we we are going on our bottom level and there's lots of hidden details in here so the first of those is this drawing on the wall of an elf and a dragon by the looks of it a sketch on the cave wall and this one looks like the big horn being blown to summon the dragons and when you put it on here you can actually spin it around it's a big spinning rock so you can choose which side you want to angle out that's great, that's such a great little hidden feature that you probably wouldn't notice if you didn't get in very, very close to see. <laughs> I do love this little lift on top of all of the water element there. So if you haven't seen the first part yet, these little round circles at the front are to hold the baby dragon eggs for each element. So there's a space so far for the water egg and for the lava, the fire dragon egg and there's our little fall of lava down there a little waterfall of waterfall a lava fall of lava there's actually also an enormous waterfall all the way down the front of the dragon sanctuary itself the design of this is so pretty so so very fantasy it just works so perfectly and we got these little drippy bits of green <laughs> and it's just looking really really nice there are three levels here <laughs> and there's a fish in the bucket at the back this is the docking area for Titus's raft for after he comes in from fishing so we can tether it there with the little chain and we're up to bag number four so let's keep building up onto the second level We need uh, the very important pink foliage, which is always present <laughs> in the Lego Elves builds. Also seem to grow jewels on the foliage in the Lego Elves world in Elvendale. There, it's beautiful, a big ball of flowers. All right, second level, and we've got this nice smooth part here, which might indicate a moving feature. Now we've got a nice big carpet. Here is the place for the Earth Baby Dragon Egg to be displayed. Now our slippy slidey piece that Ira just slippy slided along to show you does have a moving feature here. It's a little platform a nice embellishment on the end and it goes in and out we'll have to find out what it is for in a moment now it's oh actually now it's caught in it doesn't go very far and that's interesting all right this is Titus's study up here on the second level where he sits to do his writing to do all of his research as well by the look of things and it's very prettily arranged. On the outside, there is a cookie and a cup with a cherry, a lovely smoothie out there. There's nowhere to actually sit to have that, so you're just going to have to stand out, <laughs> hang out on the side there, maybe on the little lift. So see, there's the inside of his study. So that's a chair, that sliding part. Where do these see-through blue pieces go don't know I've put them on the right spot but let's put this in because this is his work table with these awesome scrolls on it scrolls of his work scrolls about baby dragons and I've put it on upside down so let's turn that around there so that can angle so it sits like that there now hop out Ira because that's actually Titus's work area there, so it's very cozy, very, very snug, but he does fit in there absolutely perfectly. And now I figured out what, no, actually, what have I done with these? There, they belong on the other side. <laughs> oh, terrible, silly Ellie. 
Okay, let's keep going and build his little study with all of its little very pretty decorative pieces around it. Got some flaming torches out the front and there's even the shape of an egg to look into it. How cool is that? But we're going to cover that up with the next part of the big cascading waterfall that goes down the front. And some more little light lavender pieces. Decorative element down here next to the waterfall. Ah, okay. On the hook in the back is a sextant, which is a very old measuring instrument. And so he could sit in there with it extended or with it back. We'll just have to decide how we're going to use that slidey platform. We're on to the third level now, though, which is all green. Green and blue and not sticking down properly. Hold on, what am I doing? Uh, there we go. I just need to line that. There we are. That's better. Lovely. Here's the top of the waterfall and we've got two more places here. There's a big see-through one on the top and there's the air place there for the air dragon, for the air baby dragon. Now that see-through one on the top could be used for the queen baby dragon egg. Because mm, that's, well, there's enough space there for another baby dragon egg. But we're going to be using it for something else as well. It gets a little temporary torch on it. In the meantime, let's finish up our waterfall and put our torch on. There. We're reaching the peak of this dragon sanctuary. So you can see where that torch would be. That's where we could put the queen baby dragon's egg for display. Love the little winged angled pieces on the top. That looks great. And the last sticker is the sticker for this piece of a dragon. And a couple more little angled pieces. You see these all through the Lego Elf sets sort of angling and it looks brilliant there what do you think Titus you're all the way at the top now he also has this fantastically big horn actually I lied we're not in the last of the stickers we need the ones to go onto the horn it's like an enormous alpine horn there and it's for calling the dragons in spectacular looks great so it hooks on here and we can angle it forwards and backwards and Titus can use that to call the dragons there are some hooks on the back so we need to find out what goes on them first here is a teeny tiny laddery staircasey thing it's kind of almost functional <laughs> it angles out strangely so let's see there we go, Ira's just showing us how we do that, but there is nowhere for her to actually stand up here unless she wants to stand on the egg display. There's also a telescope using one of those inkwell holder pieces, which looks really good. So there you are, that is the whole of the build of the Dragon Sanctuary, actually. No, I've got this piece left over. Oh no, and there's this big empty spot where it's supposed to be. I wonder if I can squeeze it in. Let me see. <laughs> it's not looking very promising. I may have to dismantle some of this to try and get this little piece in. Surprised I didn't notice this enormous big missing space. There we go. This happens all the time I get to the end of the bag and there's this big piece miss well this big piece left over and I need to find out where it <laughs> where it's supposed to be. But all sorted now. So we can put the eggs on here. They don't actually stick on. We might need to take off the little logoed studs the ones with the elements on them but for now we'll just balance it on the top there we are there so that's it that's the whole thing with gust the wind dragon finally and the dragon sanctuary which also displays all of those beautiful faceted shiny baby dragon eggs <laughs> I love it it's great hey here's Titus he's out fishing oh have you got it oh, he's got something Good work, we'll eat tonight. Take it back to the Dragon Sanctuary. Here he comes, he's gonna dock his little raft. And put the fish in the basket, well, in the bucket. 
Ah, but Ira has arrived. She's been traveling long distances to come and see Titus. Alrightio, so onto the lift. And up you go. Up, 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 up. And up to Titus's study. Oh, look at that. The water dragon egg has hatched. Oh, they didn't notice. <laughs> the water dragon's gone out. Baby water dragon has come out for a bit of a play and a bit of a slippy slide. Ready? Let's see if this works. Wee! Oh, it didn't work. Let's try it again. And up, 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 up. And... Wee! <laughs> That's the best little slippy slide. Ah, uh, but they have realized that the baby dragon has hatched. So let's take that baby dragon back to the dragon sanctuary. <laughs> Get it all settled in. Here we go, a nice bath for the baby dragon, for rain, and Titus is busy doing some study. It's time to blow through the enormous alpine horn so that Ira can get Gust to come because they have got an important quest to go on. A cookie for Gust who has uh, arrived now. So that's a little platform, the slidey inny outy bit. She can stand out on the edge there and be up at Gust's face height. She can also use it to mount Gust and sit on, be just at the right height. There we go. Ira is ready to depart. And off she goes, oh, where is Titus? What happened? <laughs> I think you knocked Titus off. There we go. There you are, Titus. Nobody was harmed in the leaving of Ira and Gust. <laughs> he looks all right. He can go back and continue his study, I think. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that build. Gust is a spectacular dragon. Make sure you subscribe, click like, check out some of my other silly videos. I'm going to be back with another one very, very soon.